Hey, welcome to a physionic video. Today we're going to be discussing the topic of blood pooling. So if you're not sure what blood pooling is, well, this is the video for you. In a short, sweet, science-based fashion, we will go over what blood pooling is. If you exercise, especially aerobic exercise, but certainly resistance training as well, then you might be interested in what blood pooling is because it impacts you every time you exercise. So, if you're interested, stay tuned. Blood pooling, to be general but give you a good idea, is the accumulation of blood in a particular area of the body. Now, that can happen really anywhere in the body, but most specifically, it tends to follow with gravity. So, gravity obviously pushing us down. If you're a physics major out there, then please don't correct me if that's not necessarily the case, if it pushes sideways or something. We're just gonna, for simplicity's sake, as a physiologist, we're just gonna say it's pointing down, it's pushing us down. So gravity is pushing us down, and blood pooling tends to follow that idea. So if we have, if we're exercising and our heart's pumping really hard, well, actually, our muscles in our legs, specifically, and that's why I mentioned uh, gravity, is because blood pooling tends to happen more in the legs and tends to happen near the ankle, so further down on the legs calves, ankles, just your legs in general. So the reason being is that if you exercise, you're exercising, you're running, and every time that you push forward on your legs, so you're springing forward, you have a contraction in your leg, which makes sense, otherwise you wouldn't be going forward. And when that contraction happens, that actually squeezes those veins to then push blood back up to your heart. So your heart as much as people might think that your heart is the only thing that's pumping blood, really in reality your, your muscles and the lining of those arteries, <clears throat> not so much the veins, but the muscles on the veins, have a significant impact on putting, pushing that blood back up to the heart. So the heart is the main, uh, main contributor to that <clears throat> pulse, so being able to move blood throughout the circulatory system. However, if we exercise, we need that extra pump from the muscles. So, specifically in the legs, we see the contraction of those legs, which leads to upwards in terms of the venous return back to the heart. And if we don't have that, let's say if you are running and then you stop at a stoplight, for example, the reason why people keep moving in place is because they need to continue that contraction of their musculature to allow that venous return. And if you don't, then you end up having blood pooling. And I'll discuss some of the uh, side effects of that from severe to less severe uh, in another video. But hopefully that answered the question. Oh, another aspect, one more quick thing, is if you have blood pooling that happens in the legs, then what tends to happen is that you have uh, vasoconstriction so uh, in, in your periphery, so your uh, fingers might get tingly. So I don't know if you've experienced that during intense exercise, for example, immediately after, let's say, a squat session or whatever, you start getting this numb feeling in your fingers. Well, that's because you're or at least partly because of vasoconstriction. Those vessels are constricting to make sure that blood stays more central because it needs to stay central. Your organs are here, your heart is here, and your head. That's what's extremely important. The periphery is not quite as important to the body. So that's another kind of side effect of blood pooling or a part of blood pooling. Hopefully I answered the question. If I did, then I would certainly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. It certainly means quite a bit to me. I put a lot of work into these videos and a lot of work into these articles, which speaking of which, if you don't believe anything that I said, which of course you might not, then please check out my peer-reviewed sources down below in the article that I have written with far more detail in that article. And with that said, I hope that you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.